Alrighty, uh, as far as I know, I've done everything that we need, and this is kind of moment of truth time. This is where we actually test this out. Uh, Show the machine 10 mil in the positive x direction by pressing x plus 10. Oh yeah, baby baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that is a real childish thrill, I have to admit, but that is that is that is amazing. It's alive. Oh my god, it's alive. I need to do some video on my phone so I can do this to put this straight on Instagram. Not straight away, obviously, in a, in a day or two. Be a minute. Okay, I've got to be honest, this is crushingly disappointing. I'm so close to doing the final step, which is to get it to home. But you can't do that without the limit switches working and the X cross limit switch ain't happening. It's just not working. The other two are fine. They're, when you trigger them with your finger, they come up as triggered. The little light comes on on the controller board. But on the X axis, it's just not working. So I think it might be a faulty switch. Which is a real drag because I'm going to have to give the guys a quick call to see if they can get me another one out. Um, and I was so hoping to get this actually functioning without needing to phone them. But uh, I, think I, I think I do have to do that. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, and I'll, uh, we'll see what occurs. They may, they may come up with a, a clever fix of some kind, but uh, it's so annoying. So, so, so disappointing. Anyway, um, I'll make a call. Get back to you in a sec. So there we are, quick phone call, quick chat with the guys at Who's Nest. And they confirmed that it was probably a, a, a dicky switch. Again, I don't know if it was faulty um, through manufacture or if I tugged the wires awkwardly when I was pulling it through, but they've sent out a replacement. And again, because they're you know, a very thoughtful uh, company, they've also sent me out the new versions of the mounting plates, uh, which I didn't have before. So yeah, all, all good stuff. Well, one more reason why you should be dealing with a uh, thoughtful and responsive company like Usness. Great stuff. So I can get this new one. I've obviously, I've just tested that just <laughs> out of my own curiosity. Um, and I was right. You do get continuity across the contacts when the switch is closed. Uh, so I can get that fitted now and then, fingers crossed, do the final couple of tests on this. Uh, and then we'll see what comes next in the manual. Now it is fortunate that it's the x-axis limit switch that's problematic as the cable is relatively accessible and the change easily made. And with that done I'm also taking the opportunity to swap out the mounting plate for the y-axis limit switch for the new versions and then twizzing the machine around to face front again. Okay so this is kind of second moment of truth time. That one lights up. So fingers crossed when I get the software up and running. I mean, see that on the uh, on the dashboard as well. Basics. X. This is the one that was problematic. Zoom me home. Why? Let's forward a little bit. Yeah. 
Let's have them all. Ooh, connection lost. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Another day, I've got a thing coming which hopefully will resolve my Wi Fi issues, although it does seem to be behaving itself at the minute. Um, I want to get the spoiler board down, and I have managed to scare up a piece of MDF. This is about right size, so I'm going to cut that now. I am thinking about doing something else, actually, and that's instead of putting a, a single piece in, which makes a lot of sense, maybe putting three pieces in. I'll have to get some more little bolts to hold them down. Uh, but leaving access to two of these slots so that I can use those to put hold downs in. That might be a, a plan, do you think? Uh, I might be overcomplicating it, I don't know. Uh, and the other thing you can do, of course, is to put a spoiler board down. <laughs> That's the other thing I was thinking. To put, to make a spoiler board up out of two parts. So to put a 12 mil down and then a literally a, a spoiler, a sacrificial piece on the top of 12 of 6 mil. Of course I haven't got a piece of 12 mil big enough, have I? Nice and flat, nice and stable. What this means, of course, now is that I can use any M5 threaded bit of rod and a drop in T nut. I've got some little star knobs, um, open ended star knobs coming. And I can just make my own little hold downs. Uh, two on either side. It's very rare that I need more than that. And if it needs to be, I can just drill through it. So that's going to work out really, really well, I think. Um, it really makes it look sort of finished. Just it's like getting the router in it, you know. <laughs> makes it look a bit more complete when you've got the, uh, the spoiler board on. Even if I did put this one on back to front. So I've got the screws the other way around. But I don't matter. It's just... Nobody's watching. It's fine. So yeah, um, good stuff. In the event I decided to add a 6mm sacrificial layer on top of the 18mm. This is a variation of what I do with a sacrificial strip in my NFT tops, but thanks everyone who suggested it. And these 6mm boards are held in place with double sided tape just smoothed down with a hard rubber roller. Okay, what I've done is I've jogged this down, I've got a piece of the loft cut of 6mm scrap in here and I've jogged this down to the point where that bit is just binding, just starting to bite on that piece of 6mm. I can mark the position of that cutter with a little square and I can go round all four corners to see how much of a difference there is between that bit and the spoiler board and then we'll see how much of a surface I need to take off on it. So that's actually not too bad. Uh, front to back is pretty good on both sides, but side to side it falls away on the right or the gantry rises or whatever by about a quarter of a mil. Uh, not as much as half a mil, about a quarter. So it means I can surface the spoiler board, something like one and a half mil will be enough just to even things up. So that's what I'm going to do next, but of course in order to do that 
we've got to start looking at software and that's where, where we're going to go first.